They're here. The new iPhone 16 and 16 Pro models have arrived. They're interesting, actually. It's buying season, and I would like to share with you 10 things you should know before purchasing any of the new iPhones. Why should you buy them? Why shouldn't you buy them? And in this video, I'd like to help you make a better decision when it comes to purchasing one of the new iPhones. Okay, so obviously the first question you need to ask yourself, is it necessary to upgrade? And I think most importantly, the first thing you need to ask, like, do I have the budget available to upgrade to one of the new iPhone 16 models. Yes, they're pretty expensive here. We're talking here on average about a thousand dollar product. So yeah, that's a big chunk of people's budget. Secondly, from which iPhone are you coming? If you're coming from an older device and it's for example, an 11 Pro, a 12 Pro, or maybe a 13 Pro, or older, then I recommend you to upgrade. However, if you're coming from maybe a 14 Pro or even a 15, then personally, I don't recommend you to upgrade. Of course, if you wanna upgrade at the latest and greatest, then for sure you should go with that. Okay, so number three, if you're really fan of the new colors, the new finishes, then for sure, that can be one of the main reasons to upgrade. I think Apple did a phenomenal job this year with the new colors. I absolutely love the three I have in front of here. Um, so uh, we have the pink one, we have the Desert Titanium, my personal favorite, that's for the Pro models. And then we have the Ultramarine, and Apple doesn't call this blue, but Ultramarine, whereas the rest is just a teal, which I also really like. Unfortunately, I don't have that one. Pink, and then we have black, white. Definitely, if you were a fan of the new colors, that could be a reason to upgrade as well. Next up, one of the main features on all the devices this year is that we have the camera control. And yes, this is even now available on the regular iPhone 16 and 16 Plus models. I actually wasn't expecting that. And that makes these two models, so the 16 and 16 Plus, a really nice value for your money. Compared to the Pro and the Pro Max, there aren't that many differences anymore. So that can also be one of the factors for you to upgrade this year, that the regular devices are a bit cheaper and now also support a bunch of pro features. Also this year for the first time ever, we have the biggest iPhone size ever seen here. We have the iPhone 16 Pro Max here coming in at 6.9 inches. And also what's really cool is that the bezels, the borders have significantly shrinked. So we're almost looking at an edge to edge display. So let's for example, put the other iPhone 16 here next to it. You can actually see that there's quite a big difference between the bezel sizes. And this is by far the most beautiful display we've ever seen on an iPhone for the 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max. Next up, if you are really into audio and microphones and mixing, then this year is the year to upgrade as well. The new iPhone 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max come with studio quality microphones, a stereo recording and absolute an amazing feature which is called audio mix the microphones themselves are significantly better compared to previous years uh, microphones and audio mix the new feature that has been introduced only on the pro and pro max allows you to film footage and if there's any background noise for example you, you hear uh, me scratching on the table and at the same time I'm talking you have the possibility to adjust the microphone and the background noise within the video. So now let's, for example, adjust this and we get this new audio mix feature. So if we click on that, you have the possibility to change it to one of the fours here in frame. At the same time, I'm talking. Crowd noise, for example, you hear and scratching. And at the same time, I'm talking. Uh, any background noise, for example, so as you hear, like the background noises are reduced significantly and you also have the possibility to adjust the strength of these, a game changer if you ask me. Next up, all iPhone models come with a significantly improved camera system. We now have the 48 megapixel fusion cameras on the regular 16 and 16 plus and it's also here on the iPhone 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max. The 16 Pro Max models have a 5 
times telescope lens, which unfortunately the iPhone 16 models don't have. Also shout out to today's sponsor, Bandwork. Bandwork is a German Apple Watch band and iPhone case maker, and they just launched their new iPhone sport cases and also their sport leather cases, as you can see here. They come in graphite, chocolate, slate green, and shocking orange. For their iPhone 16, they have the nano gray and graphite finish. Thanks Bandwork for sponsoring this video. And now let's pick up where we left. Next, if you're looking for the best battery life on any iPhone right now, then obviously you need to get one of the newer 16 Pro Max models. These now have 33 hours of video playback. I wasn't able to fully test this yet, but Apple claims that they now have the best and biggest battery inside this device. So if you really need all the juice, the maximum amount of time for your iPhone to live, then the 16 Pro Max is the way to go. And then you should definitely invest in one of the newer devices. All right, when it comes to charging, both the iPhone 16 Plus and iPhone 16 Pro Max charge up to 50% in 35 minutes with a 20 watt power adapter. And for the iPhone 16, the regular one, it's 50% charge in 30 minutes. So. That's really quick and awesome that it's now available on the newer devices. But so if for you charging speeds are essential, then definitely that could be a reason for you to upgrade. Then one of the main new features coming to all the iPhones is camera control. So camera control allows you to immediately open the camera just like that. You can take a photo quickly like that. You can scroll up and down on this little trackpad here. Then you have the possibility to long press and film. And if this is something you think is extremely helpful to your workflow yeah then for sure that could be one of the main reasons to upgrade this year and then of course we have to talk about gaming here so all the iphone 16 models are coming with improved internals improved chips we have the a18 normal chip the a18 on the iphone 16 models and the a18 pro on the iphone 16 pro and pro max models and there's also a new game mode as you can see so if you're really into gaming and you want the highest speed and performances then you should upgrade to one of the new devices and lastly i would like to cover the main differences between the iphone 16 models and the 16 pro models with regards to the display so the main difference is that the iphone 16 16 regular models don't have promotion as you can see maybe um, yeah there's just a difference in refresh rate so the iPhone 16 models refresh at 60 frames per second the display and the iPhone 16 Pro and Pro Max have promotion which refreshes at 120 frames per second All right, guys, I hope this was helpful and this will help you make a better decision when it comes to buying one of the new iPhone 16 models. Maybe this video convinced you to wait another year or maybe you decide now to upgrade because of one of the new reasons or features. Nevertheless, thanks for being here. Make sure to hit the bell icon, subscribe, like the video and see you in the next one. Peace. Oh.